Okay, hi Virgos, welcome back to my channel. Guys, if you're new here, welcome. If you are returning, thank you so much for supporting the channel. So we're going to go ahead and get your weekly energy, okay? Now this is a general message, so it may not resonate with everyone. Just take the parts that resonate for you and leave the rest. Anybody interested in a personal reading, my information is always down below. Thanks to those who do reach out for those, and thanks to those who donate to the channel, and to those of you who do subscribe. It's very much appreciated. So I do hope that everybody is well, Virgos, okay? I hope that everybody had a good weekend. Um, for, those of you, for those of you in the UK, I hope that you had a good Mother's Day yesterday. Um, but I hope that you're ready for the week ahead here, Virgos, okay? No matter what it may bring. So, Spirit... Give me a card for now and a card for going forward. Thank you. The sign of Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, North Node and Venus. What is the energy here? Okay. And can I get one more? I saw one eleven on the clock. So some of you could be seeing the synchronicities one one one. Um, for some of you, this may have um, this may be a message where it's something to do with maybe your twin flame. Okay. Um, bottom of the deck, you have it's time to release negativity, and then you have the end of a tough cycle approaches. Yeah, and then you have a win win outcome is forecast here, Virgos. Okay. But the cards that are coming out, the first one you have it says conclusions are within reach. Now, you have two cards coming out going forward. Now, the first one says nothing will come of this situation. And then you also have bring love into the situation. So what is this for my Virgos? Thank you, Spirit. Conclusions are within reach. Why is it here? So coming out sideways, okay, so we have concern. So I feel like straight away the energy that I'm picking up here, Virgos, this is either I'm picking up your energy or someone else's energy that may be in your energy field, okay? Confirmation. Now, I feel like the concerns card came out sideways because the blockage here could be communication, but it feels like with the concern energy that someone here is either afraid to speak up. Um, someone may be afraid to reach out to you and it could be because they don't know what the outcome is going to be. Show me bring love into the situation. This definitely could be someone you have a child with, doesn't have to be. Someone could also be going through some sort of... Um, how do you say it? Child maintenance, something like that in the courts here. Show me bring love into the situation for Virgo. So we have the privileged lady. So this could be someone that wants to make you some sort of romantic offer here, Virgos. But again, sometimes when the privileged lady comes out, or maybe even sometimes like with a wealthy man, right? It can be an energy of maybe intimidation. Because I can see this privileged lady as almost like the empress energy, but they're more giving me the nine of pentacles vision, okay? Where some of you, you may be in this energy where you're just kind of like um, independent, self-sufficient. Some of you definitely could be single, uh, but it's almost that energy where you can kind of hold your own. So sometimes it puts other people in the energy of, you know what, if this person can kind of hold their own, then what do I have to bring to the table? If this person can kind of hold their own, um, what are they going to want from me? You know, that kind of a thing. What is nothing will come of this situation? Oh, a false person. Okay, so we'll see what that is about. Someone I'm hearing someone here could have learned some sort of karmic lesson. Someone here could have been dealing with a karmic. And maybe they've had some sort of tower moment 
where I feel like for some of my Virgos, it kind of puts people in that energy when they hit the tower, especially if it's people that have chose somebody over you. And especially Virgos, if this is somebody that, you know, you kind of haven't done anything wrong to, you know, they was the one that put you in a third party situation. They was the one that lied or cheated on you or whatever the scenario may be. It sometimes can put people in that energy where they kind of reflect back on, you know, who who was the genuine person around them who actually had true love for them who was actually you know um someone's really good friend or a really good family member or something like that but it's almost like that energy of genuine support here but you have message of concern distant horizon family room in high honor change and great fortune and there's that wealthy man but for some of you, you may be surprised to hear from them. This definitely, um, for some of you, could be a work situation or maybe somebody that you have worked with in the past. Or for some of you, depending on what you do for work, this could be someone who watches you, right? So if you have like a platform or you're online or something like that. Or it could also be saying to me that a lot of my Virgos, you know, at this time... Like I said, you may not really be thinking about this person or maybe you'd be really surprised to hear from them because you may be very focused on your finances, um, your projects, your business, your career, that kind of a thing, okay? But Spirit, show me more about this for my Virgos. What is conclusions are within reach and concern? As a part of the deck, you've got the Three of Swords with the Six of Cups. It feels like there's someone here who is reflecting or it's that energy of nostalgia here, okay? Or that energy of reminiscing. I'm also getting this energy where for some of my Virgos, if this is someone who went back to somebody from their past, like I said, I feel like there's some sort of regrets here. But show me what this is for my Virgos. What is the weekly energy here? I just saw 7-11 on the clock, which could be significant um, for somebody here. Someone could be dealing with a, I want to say a Gemini or a Scorpio. But we have the Queen of Wands coming out in the reverse. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. Yeah, some of you could be definitely walking away from a feminine fire sign or it could be masculine, take it how it resonates. But you have the Queen of Wands coming in the reverse and the World card, okay? It feels like with the Wheel of Fortune at the bottom of the deck, it was, it's fate and destiny. Something is happening just the way it's supposed to. I feel like in the atmosphere, there's just a lot of changes that is going on here. So we have the Sun card. What is the Queen of Wands in the reverse? So the Queen of Wands in the reverse can definitely be someone who is very promiscuous. It can also talk about someone who is maybe um, has some sort of anger issues is what I'm hearing. This is definitely could be someone who is a liar, a cheater, right? Any king or queen that comes in the reverse for me can talk about someone who has had some sort of fall from grace. Um, it can also talk about maybe someone who has abused their power some way, somehow. Um, the Queen of Wands in the reverse can also be someone who is maybe overbearing, someone who lacks confidence here. Uh, it, it talks about someone who can be a bit of a busybody, like almost like a gossip, okay? Um, I'm getting this energy with this Queen of Wands in the reverse as someone who's always kind of caught up in some sort of mix. What is the Queen of Wands in the reverse? The Six of Wands. What is the Queen of Wands and the Six of Wands? The Ace of Cups. I feel like this Queen of Wands um, coming out with this Six of Wands. Yeah, you have the Magician at the bottom of the deck. It makes me almost feel like someone who likes attention. They like to be seen. It's also giving me this energy where this is someone who wanted to win at something here. And then you have this Ace of Cups, which talks about love. It talks about new beginnings. Um, it can talk about romance, you know, and it also does talk about pregnancy. I don't know if this is someone who was trying to manipulate a situation. Yeah, I don't know if this is a family member or there was some sort of lies about maybe children or a family situation. 
For some of my Virgos, I don't know why I'm picking up this energy, but whoever this is that is in this concerned, um, who's concerned about reaching out to you or even concerned about you finding something out. Now, again, it's not going to be for everyone, but with the Ten of Cups and the Moon card, okay, this could be someone who maybe slept with a family member of yours. What is the Queen of Wands... With the Six of Wands and the Ace of Cups. Show me more. The Page of Wands. And then there's that Nine of Pentacles. Now this Queen of Wands could also be someone who is very jealous of you here, Virgos. Especially if you are having some sort of victory and success, okay? Especially if you're in this energy of self-love, right? Um, the Page of Wands, it talks about good news. It talks about, again, somebody maybe wanting to reach out to you, to email, to call, to send a text. But they may be afraid of this Queen of Wands, whoever she is. Now, what is this world card? We have the Three of Swords. And we have the Nine of Cups, Page of Swords, and the Six of Pentacles. Virgos, I feel like some of you have some sort of online business that may be doing very well with the Nine of Cups and the Six of Pentacles, right? Maybe you get a lot of donations or you receive a lot of gifts here. But I also feel like the Six of Pentacles doesn't just talk about, um, you know, financial gain. I feel like this is also you having like supporters, well wishers here. I feel like somehow, some way for some of you, you give back to the community. So whether that is with the pentacles, whether that is with your time, whether this is an energy where maybe for someone here you go around maybe, you know, feeding the homeless or helping out certain children's home or animal hospitals. That there is something here that you do that you get some sort of joy out of. And for others of you, like I said, this is someone who may be spying on you online here. And they may be trying to think of something to give to you here. But this is also someone who sees you as their wish fulfillment. But the Three of Swords is out here. So again, I don't know if this is someone who you have already ended some sort of situation with. Um, you've already closed out this chapter here. What is the World card with the Three of Swords? The Knight of Cups and the Three of Pentacles. Someone who wants to work with you, build with you here. And again, I feel like the Three of Pentacles can talk about learning and studying and that kind of a thing. So again, I feel like for some of you, this is someone who has learned some sort of lesson. Knight of Cups, this is someone who wants to make you some sort of romantic proposal here. This is someone who wants something to move on to the next level. This is someone who's wanting to follow their heart. What is a Sun card? So we have the Hangman. And we have the Five of Swords landing on that Queen of Wands in the reverse here. Queen of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. This is someone who feels defeated. Mm -hmm. So again, I don't know if someone here had a child with a karmic, okay, with the Queen of Wands in the reverse. And they're feeling stuck and trapped in that situation with the Hangman here. This is also, again, if it's not that, right, this is someone who may have thought something was fun and games at the time, right? So this could have been someone who at some point in the past was laughing at you. Um, it's that energy of maybe someone here thinking they were getting some sort of revenge over you here, Virgos. But like I said, I feel like with that Queen of Wands in the reverse, this could have been someone who kind of met their match. This person, they they feel like they sacrifice this situation here with you, Virgos. And it's almost that energy of kicking yourself here. Queen of Pentacles, the Knight of Wands, and the Page of Pentacles, Page of Swords. This is someone who wants to, it's almost like they want to lay some sort of fresh foundation. Okay, now for some of you, it could be somebody new, right? Just because someone here is worried about reaching out to you, it doesn't mean that this isn't someone new where you've kind of caught their eye. 
But this is definitely someone who wants to rush in here with a Knight of Wands. I feel like this is someone who wants to invest in you. This is someone who has some sort of, it feels like some sort of level of passion here for you or a desire. Someone here is seeing how mature and grounded you are. What is this privileged lady? For my Virgos. What is the weekly energy here? Thank you, Spirit. So we have the, yeah, came out, landed on the sun. Okay. So some of you could definitely be dealing with a Leo. You have Pisces out here. I feel like that's what's really standing out to me. Or Aries, Sagittarius with this Queen of Wands. But with this privileged lady, you had the Eight of Swords and the Four of Swords. Uh, that Someone here is very in their head about you here, Virgos. The Eight of Swords is that energy of a mental prison. Now, I don't know why I'm hearing for someone here. Someone could have even been, like, got arrested over the weekend. Um, but, yeah, I mean, yeah, even if that was the case, you know, they may have been let go by now here. But it would, if that is the case, this person would have done almost like um, overtime when it comes to the mental space here. This is fear and anxiety. This is also an energy of somebody feeling trapped or, like I said, it's a mental prison. This is someone who feels like they're backed into a corner. So this is someone who can't kind of see the light at the end of the tunnel here. This is someone who's feeling hopeless and powerless in a situation. Show me more. What is the weekly energy for Virgo coming out sideways is a blockage. It's the Ace of Wands. Yeah, new beginning. Landed on the world card. Show me more about this Eight of Swords. You have the moon card landed on the sun. Give me one more. Eight of Swords on the moon. I just saw 17, 11 on the clock. Page of Swords is coming out again. And then you have the Six of Pentacles. Now, for some of you, they could even have been something that somebody paid for, right? That they may be afraid of you finding out here. The Page of Swords with the Moon card is giving me an energy of delayed information, delayed communication here. But again, it could just be an energy where someone here it is kind of feeling like I have no option but just to watch the Virgo because they're too afraid to communicate, to come forward, to take any action with the Eight of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Three of Cups, reunited and it feels so good. Um, two of Pentacles, Ten of Swords. And again, for some of you, this is someone who is regretting um, something to do with some sort of a third party situation, right? Someone could have worked with someone as well to keep you stuck here. What is the Four of Swords? So the Four of Swords is very much like the Three of Swords, which you have out here already, right? And then you have the Fourth Sword that is kind of like lying underneath this person, which always says to me that there is no communication. Someone is not speaking up. This is an energy of suffering in silence. What is the Four of Swords? We have a King of Pentacles energy. And then we have a four of cups. Yeah, someone here feels like they missed some sort of opportunity. This is regrets. It's that energy of regrets, regrets, regrets. It's that energy of sheer, right? If I could turn back time. Yeah, this is someone who's really struggling with, um, I guess, letting you go here, Virgos, with the nine pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, page of wands, two of cups, a seven of cups. What is the ace of wands? Coming out sideways. So these are blockages. So for some of you, it, it looks like, that again, there's something here from the past. The five of wands, there's some arguments, conflict. There's too many people involved in a situation here. This could also be someone who feels like maybe you have a lot of people competing for you, for your attention here, Virgos. There could be also something here about um, people that somebody grew up with. So again, like I said, it could be family members. It could be 
uh someone that you know this could be like a childhood romance maybe somebody knew this person since childhood or whatever it's almost like an energy of um i'm hearing first love six of cups with the five of wands nine of swords at the bottom of the deck with the two of wands it's almost like someone here is worried about who you're going to choose or what choice you're going to make what is the five of wands about three of wands and what is this the eight of cups I also feel like, I don't know, Virgos, it kind of makes me feel like this is someone who, show me more, because I feel like someone's seen the bigger picture of a situation this week, and I feel like they're abandoning something, yeah, a chariot, walking away, moving away. What is the Eight of Cups and the Three of Wands? Why is it here for the Five of Wands? Thank you, Spirit. Eight of Pentacles, so someone could be seeing the synchronicity, 88. And then you have the five of cups. For some of you, somebody feels like whoever they worked with, or like I said, they, this could be someone who, you know, that is watching you at work here. But it feels like for some of you, whoever somebody worked with, like I said, they're seeing the bigger picture of that situation and it's causing, it's causing some sort of, um, I know it feels like someone's crying over spilt milk. So, any blockages, oh, actually, before we move on, just show me a little bit about nothing will come of this situation and this false person. Thank you, Spirit. Yeah, I just see the Magician and the Ten of Pentacles. Someone here could have did something purely for finances. I'm hearing, yeah, for financial gain. Again, the Three of Pentacles, someone that someone was working with or a third party that somebody chose over you. So over this side, I am seeing Cancer and Pisces, okay, um, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Aquarius, Libra, and Gemini, and then, you know, Fire, Aries, Leo, Sag. But what is this false person? Show me. So coming out sideways, so is the Seven of Pentacles, so someone that someone was investing in? seeing libra energy at the bottom of the deck what is the seven of pentacles for this false person you have the full card yeah and that is a um aquarius and aries energy got the king of pentacles at the bottom of the deck with the seven of cups and the king of swords i feel like someone here was creating some sort of confusion and illusion on purpose here show me more about this false person Someone's favorite color could be red. Maybe someone has red hair or wears red lipstick. Page of Wands. Someone made something sound like good news. Or someone here was very convincing in something is what I'm hearing. You've got the Five of Wands at the bottom of the deck with the Nine of Swords and the Four of Pentacles, Five of Cups, Knight of Cups. It's almost like someone held back some sort of information on purpose. Clarify these three cards. You have the Judgment. You have the Eight of Wands. And then we have the Seven of Cups, yeah. I feel like something, someone here made something look good, sound good. Maybe somebody did look good on the outside, but it's almost like somebody discovering what somebody is really about on the inside here. Seven of Pentacles with a judgment. I feel like someone here feels like they made a bad judgment, even though the judgment is up in the upright. It could also be that energy where someone here, like I said, is maybe regretting reconciling with someone. Or someone here has also been awakened about a situation. The full card and the eight of wands. The full card talks about taking a leap of faith, right? It's about taking a leap of faith into the unknown. It can also, though, talk about doing something risky. And the eight of wands is an energy of, um, you know, maybe somebody feels like they moved too fast in a situation as well here, Virgos. And then that page of wands with the seven of cups, right? Making something seem like good news. But like I said, the Seven of Cups can talk about illusion and confusion. It's also an energy of maybe someone here feels like they chose the wrong option. But okay. Any blockages for my Virgos this week? Okay. 
any blockages from my Virgos this week. Thank you, Spirit. And one more. What do we have? We have clean up time. And that's with the judgment. So I don't know, Virgos. It's almost like some of you, your ancestors and angels, maybe they're coming in to sort something out here with the clean up time. Or like I said, somebody knows that for things to move forward with you, right, they would have to communicate here. Conclusions are within reach for someone. But clean up time talks about cleaning up whatever mess has happened. What is this? You have ancient wisdom. Hmm. Any blockages from my Virgos this week? This is what I'm saying with this false person. I don't know if someone was acting like they were wise or they had some sort of information or something like that. Any blockages from my Virgos this week? So we have the three fates, what goes around comes around. And then we have in the reverse, it says holding on way too tight, but it's in the reverse. So again, someone here definitely could be letting something go this week. Or someone here may have to let you go, Virgos. Thank you. Yeah, it says an important end and a new beginning. Time's up is what I'm hearing with that egg timer here. Or it's very near because even though this egg timer hasn't quite run out, and it's funny that I said it is, it, that ending could be very near because the ending card is a number 45, which boils down to a nine. So it makes me feel like, you know, nine, ten. Ten talks about completions here. Yeah, bottom of the deck, someone here is upset because someone is seeing through them. It says, be your true self. Yeah, and there's that black magic energy and then healing from heartbreak. Hmm. What are the lessons this week, Spirit, for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, North Node, and Venus? What are the lessons here? Show me more. Anything else from this deck? What are the lessons here from our Virgos? Thank you, Spirit. Bottom of the deck, we do have peace. It says, I am a being of love and I release all negative energy. Now, what I'm noticing here, Virgos, is you have one card coming out in the reverse. Well, I don't know if these lot are in reverse. Okay, yeah, they are. Okay, you have this card of acceptance in the reverse and it landed on the six of wands. I feel like for some of you, someone here didn't want to accept that, that you are successful, that you're kind of victorious or that you are having some sort of um, victory here. Okay, it, it's almost like a, the six of wands, it, it talks about triumph. You overcoming any kind of obstacles here. For some of you, you may be, like I said, you may be a celebrity. It talks about fame and recognition here, right? Just you achieving something. And I feel like someone didn't want you to do that or they didn't want to believe that that is who you really are. They just didn't want to accept that you are winning in something. It says, I am learning to accept that. I'm learning to accept the things I cannot change. So someone, what was somebody trying to change your destiny? You have discipline. It says, I can accomplish what I set my mind to. So whatever you have accomplished here, Virgos, right? Or like it says, you can here. It is because you have like this energy of tunnel vision, focus, consistency, dedication. So it makes me feel like whatever it is that you are receiving or winning in is because you deserve it. You did the work kind of an energy. You have friendship. It says, I understand that a friend is in my life for a reason. 
And I just heard that, and it's not always necessarily a good reason. You know, maybe someone had to come into someone's life to teach them some sort of lesson. Maybe this is a friend who wants to reach out to you, but they allowed, like I said, maybe a third party to get involved, right? Could be like, oh, maybe this was your, like your best friend, but they met someone and they kind of, you know, not to say that if they're in a relationship and you're a friend that they must put you before the person they're dating. No, but at the same time, it doesn't mean that they should dismiss you completely either. You have trust. Like I said, I feel like for some of Virgos, it's that kind of a ride or die energy where you probably would have done anything for this person. You have trust. It says, I accept that my inner voice will always guide me correctly. So again, for someone here, maybe they didn't listen to their intuition. Maybe you told this person something about another person and they didn't want to hear it. Sometimes we have to be put in a position where you have to learn things for yourself. Where should Virgo's focus be this week, Spirit? Where should their focus be? Ooh. Well, joy is wanting to show its face, okay? Let's get a proper shuffle. Thank you, Spirit. Where should their focus be? My Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, North Node and Venus. Just, in, just work on being happy, Virgos, okay? Uh, it, it doesn't matter where you go. It doesn't matter what you do. It doesn't matter what you have, what you look like. There's always, always going to be other people in the background that don't like what you have to say again they don't like how you look they, they're always going to find a reason okay and it's not even necessarily because that's exactly how they feel you just have some real miserable people in the world you know sometimes people can be which is also what this queen of wands in the reverse is giving me an energy of someone who it is very um how do you say it it's like a competitive Where else should my Virgo's focus be? Thank you, Spirit. Can we get one more? Thank you. You have given and receiving at the bottom of the deck, so make sure you're putting out the energy that you want to receive, okay? So the first one I'm seeing, it says relay. And it says, beloved one, it says, it's time to set aside work for a while. It says, don't worry, we will oversee your responsibilities to their completion. It says playfulness, it says, and laughter will lift your energy so that you'll so that you'll return to work with a renewed perspective and heightened energy. So balance, okay? Don't forget to laugh, don't forget to have fun. You have ground yourself. It says when you detach from awareness of your body and the physical world, you become ungrounded. It says, although it's pleasant to float heavenward, it says your attention and work are needed upon the earth. It says we're helping you balance the spiritual and material so that you can enjoy a fulfilling earthly life. So again, I was just about to say, I was just about to say, so you see, keeping yourself grounded is that also that energy of you need removing things, people, whatever that, you know, trigger you or they're trying to kind of, I don't know, they bring out the worst in you here or it's about cleansing your space. You have cleanse and detoxify. It says with great love and respect, it says we ask you to detoxify your precious and sensitive body. It says, at your request, we'll help you to develop life-affirming ways to deal with stress, as well as ease any sorrow at shredding your old ways. It says, give your cares, worries, and concerns to us and feel, and feel the beautiful grace of your newly purified body. 
Okay. So Virgos, that is your weekly energy that I've picked up here today. I do hope that something has resonated for you. Look at this. Nine of Cups, Knight of Wands, the Ace of Cups, Page of Cups with the Ten of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles. There's some of you, there is someone here from your past that is returning. This is someone who has a desire to come towards you, okay? For some of you, this is someone who has a desire to build something with you. We've got the Ten of Cups here and then we've got the Ten of Cups energy here. I feel like for some of you, this is going to end up as mutual feelings here. And even if for some of my Virgos you choose to stay single, there's an energy here of self-love. Right? Because you see a family situation here, but you see this single woman here and this Ace of Cups here. But yeah, definitely someone who admires you, has a crush on you, wants to offer you an apology here. But Virgos, if something has resonated with you, I do answer it, hit the thumbs up. But um, if this is where we part, Virgos, stay safe, love and light, guys.